This is one of our Foxit Accessibility Series videos. Welcome on board. Uh, one of the things that an author will always encounter when verifying accessibility with Foxit is this one here, Color and Contrast. There is no method within Foxit to verify how accessible the color and contrast is within the document. So it does require a manual check. Now I am going to recommend a tool called the Color and Contrast Analyzer. Now just before we open up this tool, let me change the size of our screen here so that we can see this. Now notice the blue here. The blue is not high contrast or it doesn't appear so. But I do have within here the Color and Contrast Analyzer tool available. Now a couple of things with this. This is a free tool. There are different versions. They will all do the same thing. They will just look differently. So we have a foreground color area and a background color area. For the foreground color area, I'm going to come and select the little tiny eyedropper. Now you'll notice that my mouse has changed. I'm going to move that eyedropper directly over the blue text. And I want to make sure I get as close to the center as I possibly can. It can be a little bit tricky. Oh, I just had it. I'm getting close. Let's try something else. Another, maybe the T would work, or the middle of the Y. As soon as I've captured the color, it shows it to me. Now, the background color I also have to sample. So I select the eyedropper and I click the white. Now when we do that, in the lower portion we can see the color and contrast for the AA standard has failed for regular size text. Now regular size text is 12 point and less. It has passed for large text, so anything larger than 12 points. If you are meeting the AAA compliant, which is actually where we should be today in 2023, that particular blend of the blue as the foreground and the white as the background has failed for both of them. Now this particular tool also lets us just type in a color if we know what the color blend is and test in that particular way. So this particular document as it was set out with those colors does not meet the WCAG color and compliance standard. If you've learned something from this video please hit the little like button down below and make sure you subscribe.